Welcome to Abadox on every NES game. I'm Slider, joined as usual by Mangalava. Hiya. So, this is a pretty interesting little game. Sinister from the off, I see. It certainly is. Well, first of all, it has actual sound design, which is nice. Um bit unusual in NES games, I like it. So what are we flying off towards? What even are we? Like, what is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? A little eyeball with teeth? I think it's a planet with teeth! Yay! That has made that logo no less than. <laughs> Milton Bradley presents. That's funny to me. Here we go. And now you're a space dude flying around shooting eyeballs. Yeah. And flying teeth things and like are those worms? What is that? What, what is going on here? Why are you even at this planet? Who knows? Why would anyone ever go to this planet? Now first of all... Why would anyone ever go to this planet? This game is a bit difficult. Yeah, I'm getting that. Thankfully I got the first power-up which lets us speed up, thank god. Next power-up gives us this cool attack. Bit hard to manage, but you can't hit a bunch of things at once. I know those skulls, just just to make everything even more sinister. You yeah. Know? Not just the eyeballs and the pterodactyls and the crash ships. And, and the that. ground. And the ground. Flaming skulls. You napalm this planet from space and you never look back. That is what you do. Yeah. Of dodging all this stuff. Why are there pterodactyls? Oh, oh dear! What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like some what? horrible undead cow of death. I don't know. It's got a horn on its head, but it's kind of dog shaped, but it's got something on its spine. Um. Except the sweet release of Merciful Death. Is that an option in this game? I guess, um... So... One of the things I find interesting is that... Consider how... Uh... Strict NES games were about, uh... Showing anything graphic or dark. I'm kind of surprised this game exists at all. Yeah, this is kind of fucked up. Just, just a little, a lot. And as you can tell, yeah, it is really tough. Just one life, well, one hit. Yeah, not very forgiving. Yeah, and no checkpoints until you beat the boss. I think we got a better power up here. Got a really terrible range of attack. Now it, the power ups kind of stack in a way, so now we got this weird thing. It'll help us up. It basically stops a certain projectile attacks, but well, it's not all of them. From what's it? Be quite a bit to get further than this. Bloody hell. Because we keep dying. Over and over. And dying. And dying. And dying. Undyne! Get Undyne in here to kill a shadow. Alphys. 
could do it. She's unstoppable. Yes. She's undying. And I ran right into a projectile I barely even see. Well, that's fun. And I am showing every death, so you can tell I died a lot. A lot. This is stage one! At that point, I just killed myself because I had one life. Also, before I forget, there is a bit of flashing images in this video. It's not too bad now, but, uh, it might That's be later. That's definitely something you should write in the image description rather than waiting for the viewers to get this point. Yeah, I should- I, I wanted to say that immediately, I almost forgot. I'm sure they've noticed by then. Hopefully this time we can actually- oh. Uh, Let's have this time? No. No. Just no. Okay, now we got two of those, three of those things. So now it's a lot easier for us to avoid projectile attacks. Like, it's it's actually very difficult for certain projectile attacks to get past this three-wave armada just floating around us. Try to attack the boss again. Obviously oh, it's gonna jump around like this. Abomination that needs to end. Yes. Gotta keep hitting it. I guess you just keep shooting it till it stays for real dead. Now here's the f that's the flashing images I know. Every hit's just like flash, flash. Just to make things even more difficult and annoying. And we beat it, yay! The nuclear explodes, okay. The important thing is, moving on. Yes, we are. Now things get interesting. We have to break through the walls and enter this place that I'm not sure we want to enter. This puzzle alone, this looks very organic. Those look like teeth. Why why are you going into teeth? What what is this? Unfortunately now we're back to our weak weapon and our terrible speed, so oh dear. Won't that be fun? That's probably the worst part of the game, is that every time you die, you end up with this just terrible speed, and it's just hard to move. That's not fun. Ooh, we have a better weapon this time. That's nice. This place uh, is still just like a festival of nightmares. A water drop killed us. Come on, get the power up. This is just weird alien frog things. And as you can tell, the... Uh, it didn't want to record all those frames. Yeah, I'm getting that. I wouldn't want to record any of this either. I'd barely want to be looking at it. Here we go again. That, okay, that's definitely a tongue. What are you running around inside? I don't think I want to know. That is the weirdest fucking nuclear I've ever seen. Now they're just walls popping up and down like this. You going randomly invincible because the frame rate is just that bad. That's not the in-game frame rate, that's more the recording frame rate. Uh, what could be in here? Eyeballs! Oh, Jesus, look at that face. What the fuck is that? Uh... Died again. Well, 
Death has some mercy in this game. No. He doesn't want you to see what it has to offer. There is no mercy. Accept the sweet release of death. Oh, that is so disgusting and disturbing. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. I'm, I'm rarely, like, I rarely find stuff, like, disturbing, especially in older games, but something about this is just generally kind of creepy to me. There's certain types of body horror that quite get to me, and this seems to be one of them. I'm not going to look at the entry for this game to find out why you're here. Why would you- is there gold on this planet? That's titled The Deadly Inner War. Oh, okay, the entire game takes place in the intestinal tract of a giant alien organism. Love it. And now there's a giant head inside with floating eyeballs trying to kill us. Okay, so this thing is some kind of Galactus motherfucker. In the year 5012, the planet Avadox has been eaten by a giant alien organism known as Pyrocytus. Now for something unexpected! Here's something new for shoot him up! Let's shoot down! Well, it's a change of pace, I guess. Oh, apparently Prince- okay, specifically what you're doing here, apparently, uh, Princess Maria has been devoured as well. You are Second Lieutenant Nezal, and you're rescuing Princess Maria. Okay. Why are they only sending a Second Lieutenant? I don't know. He's the only one who can do it. Apparently. Because the critics looked at Avadox favorably for its design, but negatively for its high level of difficulty. Ugh. The creepiest thing is that the thing is pulsating. Ugh. Yeah, if I can see that, I wish I could. See, we have to avoid these things and the fire from... ...weird things from the side, oh god. Gonna wave my power up. Basically kamikaze into a wall and it's <laughs> all... ...it now. Uh, no, I think I've died a lot in this game. Just a few times, I think. Why would you feel the need to animate this thing's intestines pulsating or whatever is going on? Just why? I don't know. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Carefully dodge all the bullets. Oh, you got laser! Laser! Yay, totally Killing yeah, these laser. weird chameleon sort of things, I don't know. Laser and missile. We'll shoot everything, make everything die. End it. Don't even know what this thing is. Heads. And his hand, his hand inside of this thing sits in his hand. It's trying to grab you. Oh god, why are there hands? Now there's a giant worm thing. But you can only shoot at sometimes, great. You can you can only shoot its eye. I 
I have so much why about every aspect of this. We're just all with our hands. So yeah, we just have to keep avoiding stacks and just keep shooting at it the eye. Simple as that. I keep thinking of being damaged or something because of the way the ship's working in and out, but that's just a terrible frame rate, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. Okay, what's next? Okay, avoid this stuff, and, um... The whole game slows up and gets terrible. Let's first do that. I mean, with some of those games, you can never really be sure. Um... The game doesn't want you to still be playing. You need to end this abomination. Like, the game is just this horrified in its own existence. <laughs> I legitimately had to pause there like, what the fuck is going on? Something I've been asking all through this video. Oh, his hands again. Hands shouldn't be there. We shouldn't be here. At least it's not slowing down. Leave Princess Maria, she's probably dead already. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You know, if, if we see not seen her at this point. Ugh, try that again. Now with no power-ups. Yay! Um... Uh, I think I'm done forever. Good night. Yeah, let's, let's Sweet dreams. Uh, horror. The <sighs> oh. horror. I'm gonna wash my brain out with my <laughs> juice now so I can forget I saw that. Good luck sleeping tonight. Huh. 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 I'm gonna go with something calm. Tribe 12 and Marble Hornets. Okay, uh, I've got to be honest. Uh, despite any complaints I had, I actually think that game is kind of awesome. It's visually impressively done for an NES game. And the sound effects are pretty on point. Uh, I mean, it's incredibly difficult, but it's also, you know, not impossible to pick up and play. Yeah. So, you know, all creation accolades, it just happens to look... They've done a very well job... They've done a very good job of rendering an absolute abomination. Yeah. Or, like, an entire nightmare scape. That's kind of why I like it, because, like, even a lot of horror games, I don't actually find that creepy. But that's just, like, the fuck? The sheer viscera is... Yeah. Honestly, part of me... Part of me, I know it's not true, but part of me kind of hopes that the slowdown at that point was intentional, because that, that would actually be a great, horrific thing. Like, like during that part, I was legitimately like, uh, this is, this is kind of messed up. Oh dear. Yeah, it did make the, the music and sound effects get even more nightmarish. What have we done? What have we wrought upon ourselves?